Hey everybody, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel, myself Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. In this video, we are going to discuss 7 best Android emulators for PC. Number 1. Bluestacks. Bluestacks is an Android emulator that lets you run Android apps and games on your computer. Bluestack is a resource intensive software, so you'll be needing a relatively modern computer to run it smoothly. You'll be needing Windows 7 or later 64-bit, you'll be needing Mac OS 10.12 or later, uh, you'll be needing Intel or AMD processor with virtualization support and that is like Intel VTX or AMD V. You'll be needing 4GB RAM but 8GB is recommended. 5 gigabytes free storage space and you'll be needing updated graphics drivers from your graphics card manufacturer. If we talk about basic features of Bluestacks, it has app compatibility. It can run most Android apps and games including popular titles like PUBG Mobile, Instagram and TikTok. It has multi-instance manager which means you can play multiple games or you can use multiple apps at the same time. It has custom key mapping. It allows you to map your keyboard and mouse to emulate touch controls. This makes it easy to play games. It has game controls. So it has built-in game controls that are optimized for popular games like PUBG and Free Fire. About synchronization, it allows you to synchronize your apps and data between your Android device and the emulator. This means you can pick up where you left off on your phone or tablet. Number 2. Nox Player Nox Player is an Android emulator that is designed specifically for gaming on Windows computers. To work with Nox Player, you're gonna need a relatively modern computer in order for it to run smoothly. The minimum requirements of the system is Windows 7 or later, 64-bit, Intel or AMD CPU with at least 2 cores, and 8GB of RAM in which 16 gigabytes is recommended. You're also gonna need 2 gigabytes free storage. You're gonna need updated graphics drivers from your graphics card manufacturer. Now let's talk about some of the features of Nox. It has gaming optimization. It is designed to optimize performance for gaming with features like CPU and GPU allocation, FPS optimization and more. It has multi-instance manager. It has custom key mapping. It has game center which is built in and that allows you to download and play popular Android games. It has an excellent feature of live streaming which is built in and you can live stream on Facebook, Twitch and YouTube making it easy to share your gameplay with others. Number 3 MSI App Player it is an Android emulator that is optimized for gaming on MSI computers. The basic requirement is MSI gaming laptop or desktop computer. Minimum Windows 10, 64-bit, Intel Core i5 processor or higher, 8GB RAM or 16GB recommended, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050Ti or higher graphics card, 8GB free storage space. If we talk about some of its features, it has multi-instance manager, it has custom key mapping, it has Game Boost which is an MSI app player which is built-in Game Boost feature that optimizes your system for gaming. This includes features like RAM allocation, CPU optimization and more. Then you have game controls, then you have synchronization. Number 4. LD Player. It is an Android emulator that is designed for gaming on Windows computers. You're also gonna need relatively modern computer for it to run. You need Windows 7 or later, 64-bit. You need Intel or AMD CPU, Intel i5 or higher recommended. You're gonna need 8GB RAM, but 16GB is recommended. You're gonna need 2GB free storage space and you're gonna need updated graphics drivers. Some of its basic features are the same as we've discussed before with other emulators like multi-instance manager, custom key mapping, gaming toolkit and it comes with a built-in gaming toolkit that allows you to optimize performance for specific games. This includes features like FPS boost, gamepad support and more. It has macro recorder which is built in and that allows you to record your keystrokes and mouse movements. This can be useful for automating repetitive tasks in game. It also comes with Google Play Store which is built in you can easily download and install your favorite Android apps and games. Number 5. Game Loop it is an Android emulator that is designed specifically for gaming on Windows computers. You're also going to need a relatively modern computer for it to run smoothly. You're going to need Windows 7 or later. You're going to need Intel or AMD CPU with at least two cores, Intel i5 or higher. You're going to need 8GB RAM, 16GB recommended. You're going to need 2GB free storage space. You're going to need updated graphics drivers. Some of its basic features are gaming optimization, multi-instance manager, custom key mapping. It has Game Center which allows you to download and play popular Android games directly from the emulator. It has live streaming feature. Number 6. Remix OS Player. It is an emulator, Android emulator that runs on Windows computers. For it, you're gonna need a relatively modern computer as well. Windows 7 or later, dual core, Intel or AMD processor with virtualization support, Intel VTX or AMD V. 
you're gonna need 4 GB RAM, 8 GB recommended, 8 GB free storage space you're gonna need, and you're gonna need updated graphic drivers for it to run. Some of its basic features are custom key mapping, gaming toolkit, file manager, which is built in that lets you browse, copy, and move files between your computer and the emulator. It has Google Play Store as well, from where you can download your favorite games. Number seven, custom emulator. We're gonna also show you how to install it. So first of all, download the ISO file for the Android emulator. I'll put the link in the description. Open your VMware, create a new virtual machine. Go for the second option that say, I will install the OS later. Click on next, select the guest operating system and go for others. Click on next, assign the disk size. Click on next, click on customize hardware, assign the RAM, assign the number of processors, select the ISO file and click on OK. Start the VM, go to advanced options, go for the auto installation option, and now installation is done. Go for the reboot option. Go for the first option and press E. Again, go for the first option and press E. Now we need to replace the value here. Replace quite with no mode set, X-Force Visa. Now press enter, now press B to boot, and we are done here with the installation. Just follow the steps on the screen to set up your emulator just like that. So these were the seven best Android emulators that we have discussed today in this video. Whatever you like, go ahead, install it and start using it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe. I'll see you in another video.